What is going on guys? Sirith plays back here once again. I know that you was expecting a part two to Hydrania and this is going to have to be the part two. I did record it and we ended up getting a corrupted video file so I'm sorry it's taken so long. I was trying to recover it and everything like that but what we've had to do is is revert or even I've had to do the game all over again. Uh, get to a point where we can be producing some type of income at this point in time so that way then we can have some money and I've got a, I've got a few things I've got a few things prepared so we started off you know with the same items again and as you can tell there is there is an update now and uh, I caught the update so what we're going to do is we're going to play it just like before and like I said this is going to be a part two to it okay so what we've got is obviously we've got the normal things, you know, we have got that sign there, you know, Ember Cradle. So we have got, you know, the, the torch is normal, the shovel is normal. I'm actually going to hide what I've already done, you know, build a little bit of suspense. Uh, we have got the cart now, which, um, which you can pick up and you can move around. It is a bit of a funny, funny moving, um, like the, the reversing skills ain't the best. Um, no, I'm, I'm used to it. A little, little bit differently so and we started off with the uh, you know with the bucket and the brushes normal while well, the buckets and the brush and also the map um, I you know I realized that the map um, sound has actually changed it used to ding like uh, all hit in the pan and it doesn't do that now it sounds like sounds like it sounds like paper almost or cardboard being dropped but yeah so we did the same thing again, you know, took the bucket, put it in the river and filled up this bucket with that shovel over there and we got a little, little bit of money. We started here and we dig this little tiny hole. Um, as you can tell, nothing else has really changed and we brought the fishing rod. And so what we did from buying the fishing rod is I've pretty much just been continuously fishing this river. And I took it up there to the jewel hour and sold all the fish. It's probably not, probably not the most profitable way of doing it, but that's the way I've done it. Um, so yeah, so that's what's been going on. There's another sign here that says, like you know, the, you're not allowed to use the machinery here. And there's another sign up there, and we'll we'll have a look at that in just a little bit. So what have I been working on? It's not much, but it's something for the moment. And this is what I've been working on. So it's two miners together. And these two miners, well the, yeah, the, yeah, the miners even, are going into the, I can't remember what they're calling, rock crusher, yeah. So, and then it shoots into this bucket, as you can tell, it's probably not the best. Um, you know, I got me the magnet tool so I could pick everything up. Um show you a little bit of that so yeah pick up everything with the magnet tool put it in the bucket and as you know whenever you sell there's a little bit just there drop that right so as you know when you sell all of the items when you sell all the items uh, within your within your bucket you're normally left with the power shards that I'm left over so I've been working on uh, putting the power shards in here and just smelting them down into a bar and we've kind of grown our bar quite big so I can stick this back in there and we keep smelting it and make the bar ever bigger and bigger and bigger and if you want to make it smaller we can do later I picked up some spanners because you know it, it still it still breaks down yeah so I've also picked up a funnel I was going to use it um, drop the the harvester down just a little bit and then put the two miners um, together with the funnel there but I'm glad that we got it because we could always use it later so what else have I done well nothing much really so I've been making some money and I've made us a, a lot of that hot cash so we've got that and yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. 
I'll set up all this pipe network. Now, I mean, it could be a little bit better, but we're going to end up changing it in the future. Uh, we're going to let this run, and as you can see, it just shoots out of there into the bucket the best it can. So, let's go on through the update a little bit more. So, everything's pretty much still the same up there. So, we've got this little town now here. And let's go into here. So we've got a new stock market. So we can sell fish, diamonds. I think that's um, iron ore and iron ingot. And then that's a gold ingot. So as you can tell, the prices are a little bit, you know, a bit crap at the moment. Um, scale, one that you can actually use. So, like, you can't pick it up, but you can use it. So that's good. So you can wait it out before, before you sell it. You can find out a price. Uh, here... Is where you can get your, your spanners from. You know, you get your spanners a little bit easier rather than having to run all the way to the town again, which I think is absolutely perfect. And then also at the same time, I've put a couple of spanners in there. There's no money in the in the pot at the moment. You can also buy the water pipe filters, the little spanners, and the tool bag. So that's really good. It's nice and it's close and it's out the way. And I would just like to say, if you're still following at this point in time. Please subscribe and hit that bell notification as well if you really don't mind so you can stay up to date with all the new videos. What I am going to try and do is try and issue more videos. I know I've been like neglecting my YouTube channel a little, a little bit and I want to try and stop that. Uh, I want to try and get more videos out a little bit more frequently. I've got loads of time now, you know, with what's going on. So, yeah, so we have got a little cut through. Well, yeah, so actually, yeah, land for sale. And it gives you all the different land prices. So we can do all that. We can move to a different land later. Uh, I actually reckon they should bump up these prices a little bit more. They should bump up the prices a little bit more. And you do get the, the truck as well at the beginning. I reckon they should get rid of that. And make the trucks more expensive. I'll show you that in a little, in a little bit. So yeah, let's go over. Let's go have a bit more of an explore. As you can tell through the updates as well, we have actually sped up a little bit. Um, since after the Halloween updates, so it's been a little, been a little bit. So yeah, been new things added, new textures, new places. Uh, this stock market is still the same, but the stock market has been totally revamped. So better prices now. So that's good. Uh, nothing in here just yet. Looks like something will happen eventually. So that's really good. So, here now we're going to go down to uh, Bridgeport. Nearly forgot then. Nearly forgot. I know we're running and we probably could drive, but I want to make it as quick as possible and seamless as possible. You know, like, easier. So, yeah. So, we've got a new sign. Unless that sign's always been there. I haven't noticed it till now. Um... Yeah, so there's a quarry up there, there's a quarry down there, and we could always buy them, buy them all later and get machines running. So, now we're going to go into Bridgeport, and it looks like they've, they've updated the sign, but I'm not too sure. It looks like it, but, you know, this is what I mean. So these, these machineries, because, because of how much you can make from one machine, I reckon they really should put the prices up a little bit and then get rid of yours because there's yours so like what's the difference between these apart from being a different color nothing that is it it's just a different color so there's not even a bigger bed so yeah Yeah, but, yeah, you know. So, yeah, so, itchy carts. So, what we can do is, wow, that looks really nice. Looks like a sunken boat is down there. I wonder if that's going to be something new then later for you to, for you to use. But anyway, you can come here and you can buy different variants of carts. So, you can get, like, a fast wooden cart and... You know, you can also get your normal wooden cart as well. So if you lose it somehow, or you need another one, you can always get it. Scrapyard is still pretty much the same. You know, you back your truck up in here and you can sell whatever it... Well, 
scrap everything that's on the back of your truck. The conveyor belts and everything, that's pretty much the same. The, I know they have reworked the, um, the single conveyor barrier as well. So that's a good thing. We'll be coming in here soon and we'll be buying some conveyor belts on the Rock Crusher and whatnot. We're going we're gonna to push and we're going to get some more money out of exactly what we're doing. This one is going to be a bit of a long episode, so try and bear with me, please. <coughs> so, everything in, everything in here is still pretty much the same again. Um, yeah, so because it's all still the same, that is all pretty good. Come down here and go around. So, this area is still blocked off, so this is going to be something new soon, hopefully. So yeah, so we can get in there, we'll just jump over the wall here. Yeah. And we can get in there. Rig parts. Ooh! Rig parts, I wonder what that's going to be. That's a, a very, very nice easter egg right there. And I didn't notice it's on there. So that's a good thing. So rig parts. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if there's anything else. No, it looks like they're tearing down that bit of a castle, or they're building the castle. I wonder what the rig is. I wonder what they mean by rig. That'll be something uh, something fun to, to wait for in the next update. So, everything else is still pretty much the same. Uh, so, yeah, so, I mean, I know you can see that neon light. We'll, uh, we'll go over to that in just a sec. The housing, that's pretty much the same. So, housing, it's all still the same. There was one thing I was looking for earlier on, and I can't seem to find it. I don't know if they've removed it. Um, oh, no, there it is, there it is. Okay, concrete floor, yeah, the, what, the single block. I use those to stack them up in the air to put the miners on and put the harvester on, and, you know, so you can build in the air and then just remove them later. So, and then the furnishings, the fancy furniture. Looks like you could buy a cactus now. That was the pumpkin, so you could. So that's a cactus. Buy some rugs, new bed, fancy chair, another fancy chair. It's out thrown. Uh, safe. Fish stuff. So for the ornaments, pillars. To put your stuff on. So that's all still the same. And then we have here. So new, Perrin Logic. And that is what this update is all about, power and logic. So, here we literally have everything you could ever need so far for power and logic. So, reactor, uh, powered magnet, I think that would be, that's really cool. Powered magnet. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff does at the moment, I haven't even tried any of it. So, we will do, and we will get into it. We'll probably get into it like within the next couple of episodes and see what everything does, and just have a have a bit of a play about. So it looks like we have a reactor, and oh oh oh. Okay, so I wonder if in that reactor we've got to put a shard in there. We've got to put a shard or a shard bar or something like that. Uh, and that creates power, so let's put that back. There we go, it's gone. Right, so batteries, powered battery. So I guess that's to keep like some juice in the line, I'd guess. Uh, so yeah, so we've got, was it straight power lines? We've got elbow power lines, uh, we've got T powered lines, so that would be power lines. For all, for, so like the pipe work, but it looks like cables. Uh, we've also got a powered filter, so that's pretty good. A powered David, have a nosy at that. So it's a David, you know, just like on the other on the other side over there, but this one's powered. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, powered T, uh, so powered intake pipe. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, powered destroyer. 
Oh, right, okay. I wonder if that means then there is going to be... Oh. Okay, I thought, like, items would flow into me and then it would get ground up, like, you know, like dirt and then just fall at the bottom. I thought that would have been what it is, but we'll have to have a look at, you know, on looking on that later as well. Um, pressure booster. Okay. Light power line. Another light power line. Okay, I guess it's so you can see if there's enough power going to a certain area. Straight power valve. Okay. Pallets. That's, that's good then. Logic smelter. Just trying to have a bit of a pier on the inside here. So I would guess then what would happen is you'd fill it from the top. Like off of a conveyor belt from a sorter or something. And then once it gets to... Mm. Yeah, once it gets to like a, a certain weight, I'm guessing, it would fall in there. And you can collect your items. So like to automatically smelt for you, I'm guessing. But it looks like it takes power and it takes logic at the same time. So that's going to be a fun one. Uh, logic durability reader. Oh, okay. So I wonder if you could set that up to the parts that... You know, and it'll tell you how long is, is left. You know, like for the durability of the items. Uh, no way. Logic spanner hurling unit. Do you think that takes in bars? Like, do you think you put bars in there? And it'll like... Take the bar and like fire it or something like that. Don't know. We're gonna have to see. Logic valve. Custom logic number. Okay. So I guess you could put in a time for that. On how long you want it till it smelts, I suppose. Just throwing things out there. A logic switch. Okay. A uh, logic button. So you can hit the button, I'm, supposed, I'm guessing. Oh, don't want to stay standing up. Oh, there we go. Something just showing up on there as well. What's that? What's showing up? Oh, it's a question mark. Okay. Logic reader cable, logic cable, straight logic cable, elbow logic cable, logic counter. I wonder if that would count how many, say, pieces of gold are going through your system. So if you've got a conveyor belt, that sits on the conveyor belt. It counts the item that passes through the gates. Uh, counter is set by passing logic into the top logic reading output um, is on the side. Yeah, I guess what that I guess what that that's what that's for. But yeah, uh, what's that? Compare logic cable. There's loads of this. Add logic cable. Subtract logic cable. Bigger than logic cable. Logic gate and logic cable valve. Diode logic cable. Flip logic cable. Delay logic cable. Is that, is that leg X? And then you've also got logic explosives as well. That's going to be fun. That is going to be absolutely fun. 
put in a timer, a timer meant say like 30 seconds and it blows up. Just rips a hole at the ground. That'd be that'd be fun. That would really be fun. So there's another way of getting in, into a town. Right into the town. So that's good that they've thought about multiple paths. So that's this town pretty much done. And obviously like the, the seller is still there as normal. And the jeweller. Now you've now what they've given you is a path across here now as well. So you haven't got to go all the way across the bridge all the time. Which I think is really well thought out. So you go up here. There is a way up here as well. Which takes you to the castle with the spanners in it. So yeah, it's, it's really, really nicely thought out. I think I'm trying to do it so it like automates a lot more. So you've got more, more automation. The graveyard is still there. All that water. So yeah, and we've still got the cave here as normal. With no items on it just yet. We am going to work up to that. We'll do that in a future episode. And um, we'll get whatever's beyond that door. And nothing in the shop there has really changed. I mean, I've put a few things down that I've sold. And, you know, I've been working hard. Find more items in Bridgeport. And we have. And we have. So then, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of this one. I know that it's been a bit of a short episode. But what we're going to do in the next episode... We am going to pretty much upgrade as much as we can. We're going to keep uh, keep our monies churning out. And what we're going to do is we're going to push for as much as we can. I will get everything together that we'll need. So you ain't going to wait through that. There's no jump cuts through it. And it will be better than ever. We'll have everything here all sorted. I'll make sure that everything's all there. And we will go for me. I would like to give everybody all of my subscribers a really big thank you uh, an, an absolute massive thank you we, we we have grown in in popularity so fast and it's a couple of hundred people but still it's a couple of hundred people that i never had before um and i'd like to give thanks to all of my subscribers sharing the videos sharing my channel to help this channel become as big as it is Thank you very much, guys. I do hope that you can enjoy the rest of your month, your day, or even your year. And I hope to see you all soon. Thank you, guys.